Hello, this is Ty Anderson for Add in Express. In this video, I'm going to do something a little different, and that's introduce you to a new product that's known as Add in Express Regions for Microsoft Outlook and Visual Studio Tools for Office. This new product targets Outlook developers that use the Visual Studio Tools for Office project templates that are available inside of Visual Studio and what it does is it allows you to take advantage of the advanced form regions provided by Add in Express and extend Outlook plugins in ways that are not supported out of the box with VSTO. So maybe the best way to introduce this product is to give you a nice visual in the form of a demonstration. Uh, first off, I am using Visual Studio 2010 and I'm targeting Outlook 2010. I have Office 2010 installed on this system and I'm also running Windows 7. So to get started, from the Visual Studio menu, I'll choose File, New Project. And in the, vis the Visual Basic nodes, I'm going to go to the Office and the 2010 node, which is already selected for me. And we see in here all of the VSTO project templates. In, in this case, I want the Outlook 2010 add-in template. I'll name this Regions Demo. And then I'll click OK. Once Visual Studio creates the project, we see the This Add-in class is automatically open for us in Code View, where we see both the startup and shutdown events, just as you would expect in a VSTO project. Uh, to get going with the ADX toolset, what we need to do is right-click on the project name in Solution Explorer, choose Add, and New Item. And here, in my, in my installed templates, I want to go to the Add-in Express node, and just so we can see its name, I'll change the view, the display view, and we'll see that we have the ADX region for Outlook and VSTO template. I'll select that. I'll just keep the name, the, the default, ADX OL, OL Form 1, and say Add. Adding the region to the project displays the new region wizard, which is an Add-in Express wizard that allows you to set the initial settings for your region inside your project. Uh, the first step is the Explorer layout. And, and in this wizard, you'll see on the left-hand side is a visual display of an Outlook Explorer window. And on the right-hand side, we see the settings that, that we're allowed to set within this wizard's page. So for the Explorer layout, what I want to do is I will set this to the reading pane top. And I will set mail and contact items as my Explorer item types that I want to display this region. Also, too, if I had a specific or custom message class inside of Outlook, I could specify that here. I'll click Next. And the next page is very similar to the one we just saw, but in this case, it's the Outlook Inspector window that we see. And I can set an Inspector properties. And here, I want to do Inspector Top. And we'll do Mail and Contact. And what I didn't mention previously was we do see uh, whatever we, we choose in our layout, we see in the display where where our form region will show when we run the project. So it's a nice visual tool to show us what each of the different values in this inspector or explorer layout, what, what they, how they will render in our project or when, when they run inside of Outlook. So I'll go back to inspector top. And then one other thing I want to point out is for the supported versions down below the graphic display here, we see supported versions of the selected layouts. The one for inspector top is supported by Outlook 2003, 2007, and 2010. So ADX is doing a great job of letting us know the consequences of our choices here. In this one, it's, it's pretty good. Outlook 2003 to 2010 are supported. Uh, I have the, the ability to specify the inspector mode. I could choose just to show this region in read or just compose, but I'm going to go ahead and leave it at the default and choose read and compose. And just like on the inspector, I, on the Explorer side, I have an inspector message class, so if I had an Outlook a custom message class, I could enter that here and have it display in Outlook. I'll click Next. Which brings us to the last page of the wizard, which is the what I call the display settings page of the wizard, where we can set how we want this region to display it by default. In this case, I want to go ahead and show it in, in the normal region state, not minimized or hidden. For the splitter, I want to go ahead and show the standard splitter and have a, have a splitter versus not having one. I want to always show the header and have a close button. I'm not worried about enabling drag and drop. And I also want to allow the hidden state and use the office themes. 
And there's one other control, this folder names control in this page, where in my Outlook, I actually have a folder at this on this path called Project Calendar, where I keep a calendar of Project Timeline. Now, what I can do by setting this, if you, if you remember, if we go back, we see that on the Explorer page, I've set Mail Item and Contact Item. I did the same thing for the Inspector layout. And here, what I'm saying is by for the Project Calendar, which this is a, a calendar type of folder inside of Outlook, I'm saying that go ahead and also show it for this specific calendar folder. I'm going to go ahead and remove this for now and just leave it blank because later on in the demo, uh, we'll see another way of adding or taking advantage of the folder names property. So I will go ahead and click Finish, and uh, our new ADXOL form now displays in the design mode. And also, too, we have the Forms Manager class, which manages the instances of our ADXOL Form 1. But since we have the form already open in display, why don't I go ahead and edit it just a little bit so it's not so big. We'll make it just a little rectangle that can be displayed in the various places that I defined it to display. I think that'll work nicely. Now, let's just take a quick look at what's happened in the code and what kind of code at an express is auto generated for us as a result of the settings I specified in the wizard. First, why don't we take a look back at this add-in and we'll see that now that the VSTO startup and shutdown methods or events have been populated with some code. First up, we see that we have a forms manager and it has now the, the current instance of the forms manager class assigned to it. And then lastly, that forms manager, we go ahead and run its initialize event and pass me, which is the this add in class, to it. And on the shutdown, we just see that we finalize it and pass the this add in class as well. But an interesting thing to note is that the forms manager property is not normally part of the this add in class. What we should do is I'll just go to, to the definition here, and we'll see that the this add in class has been extended by a partial class which is the forms manager. So the forms manager is a partial public class this add-in and it is adding the public with events forms manager object to it which makes it available here as a property of the this add-in class. But let's go back to the forms manager class and see what else was generated for us by add-in express. If you look in the forms manager class as previously noted it adds this property to the this adding class which is an ADL, ADX OL forms manager class. Then in the on initialize event we see that we have a ADX OL forms collection item which is a new ADX OL forms collection item and then we go through and set the different properties for this collection. The first being the explorer layout and it kind of walks through in the same order as the wizard that, that that we ran through when we added the region to the project. But the Explorer layouts, the top reading pane, the Explorer item types are mail item and contact item. Then we move to the inspector layout, which is the top sub pane, and the item types also being contact and mail. Then we see the display settings of the wizard, which are you know always set, always show headers true, the close button is true, using the office theme for background is true. And then the, the, maybe the most important thing here is the actual form class name, which is uh, it's passing the uh, ADL, ADXOL form 1 as, as the class name. It's using its full name property. And then last of all, this item is added to the forms manager class. With the code explanation out of the way, why don't we go ahead and build the solution. And then we'll just go ahead and run it by starting debugging. And since this is a VSTO project, there's no need to register the add-in as uh, VSTO goes ahead and handles that for us. Now, inside of the inbox, we see that we have in the reading pane on the top, right where we would expect it to be, our form region, or in, as Add-in Express calls it, this is an advanced form region. Now, also, too, if we go to contacts, we'll see I have one contact, John Doe, and also, too, in the right reading pane, uh, we have the Outlook form region just as we'd expect. So, uh, real quick and easy, I've already already have an advanced form region displaying inside of my VSTO project for Outlook. So I'll close Outlook.
and will do what every developer wants to do, which is eventually get to editing their code. So how do you make changes? There's a nice wizard in the beginning, but the bottom line is once you have this code auto-generated for you and you want to make changes, there's not another wizard or a visual designer. You just need to get into the code and make changes, which as we find out really isn't all that difficult. If I wanted to change uh, instead of the top reading pane, maybe do the, the bottom reading pane for the Explorer layout, it's easy to do. And if I wanted to maybe change uh, from a contact item, I don't really want to do contact items, say I want to make it instead a mail item and a task item, that's easy to do as well. And that works uh, for explorers or, or inspectors, what have you. And then too, like in this case, I want to disable office theming because really what I want to do is go over to my form and I want to change this back color to something uh, just a little more vibrant and uh, conspicuous and make it lime green. So then if I go to the forms manager, back to the code here, I also want to do one other thing which is change the item to use uh, the folder names property and I'll just say add and then I'll say personal folders project calendar and there we go so I've now added the personal folders oops misspelled it project calendar to the folder names property which means now that not only will the Outlook region for this project display for mail items and task items I'll change this as well to task items just to be consistent you don't have to be but I'm choosing to be and then for task items and contact items but also too it's going to display for the project calendar as well so now I'll just go ahead and say build the solution and now that it built why don't we go ahead and start the project by starting the debugger and when Outlook displays I expect to see the newly minted lime green form region right here in the bottom sub pane of the reading pane and now let's go to tasks we should see it there as well and also if I do the new task inspector we see it at the top just as we specified in the settings and if I go to contacts it shouldn't be there anymore but now let me go to the folder list because we did specify the project calendar to display the, the advanced form region and it does and also too within its inspector we'll see it there as well and just for comparison's sake, if I go to any other calendar folder, it will not display because it wasn't set as a folder name and it also wasn't set as an item type for our Explorer and Inspector layouts. So I'll close Outlook. Let's go back to Visual Studio. As you can see, add an express for Outlook regions and Visual Studio tools for Office or VSTO. Uh, provides a great tool set that speeds up your process for building Outlook add-ins and, and displaying advanced form regions within Outlook, but it also extends what's capable out of the box with VSTO. Uh, it's a great product and I think if you're using VSTO to build Outlook add-ins, uh, this is a great way to take them further by using the Add-in Express tool set.